What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today is another mystery card eBay video and I absolutely love doing these. I've had a lot of success from sellers and a lot of sellers are really honest. I've picked up a lot of great cards that I've shared in similar videos for you guys. So today is another one and I'm really surprised of how much work the seller did. Let me just show you here. So his mystery cards include a pack of random cards a bonus pack, so I'm not sure what is in here. A jersey or serial number insert or parallel pack. Not sure what to get here. You can't really focus on it. And another one, which is either a graded or an autographed card. Now, this is a thick hard case, so I'm pretty sure it's graded. And it's going to be my first graded card that I've received. So I'm going to start off with the smallest one, the random card pack, just because it is so small. It's probably all base, but it's going to be interesting to open. So I'm extremely excited. So let's get right into it. Up first is Steven Rice. So I did pick this up recently in the 90s pack video. I don't know if I upload this one or that one first, but I've already got this card, but it is base card. So not too bad. Next, I already have this card, but I can't complain. A Wayne Gretzky Na uh, National Hockey Card Day card. Um, I received two of these in the packs for Hockey, hockey Card Day cards, so I know it's not rare. So this is another one to have, so I might see what I can do with it or give it away maybe. That's a nice one to get out of a mystery pack. You don't usually expect any Wayne Gretzky. A Mike Riley Parkhurst Rookies card. That one's not too bad. A Ottawa Senators card for Mark Freer. Now, I do collect Ottawa Senators cards, so this one's a nice one for me personally to put in my Ottawa Senators collection. And the last one is an Icebreakers for Paul Kaira. Uh, I'm not familiar with the player, but uh, that card does look nice. I will be keeping that for my collection. That one looks phenomenal. So not too bad for the random packs or the random card pack. Next, I'm going to do the uh, bonus pack because I'm assuming that this is going to be um, likely all base as well, possibly. Um, okay, not bad. That's actually pretty cool. Um, so the first one, just a top loader, just to make sure the pack's solid and it's not going to bend or anything in, during shipping. A OHL card 92 for Todd Bertsui. Uh, I'm not familiar with the player at all, as you can tell, but the only reason it's in the top loader is so it doesn't bend uh, the rest of the cards that are in the pack. So that's nice. But it is a 92 OPG Premier Hockey Card Pack. So this one is going to be awesome. So let's, we, let's see what we get from the sealed pack. Jeez, I was stuttering there already. A original six card... The Montreal Canadiens. Okay, so it's a Montreal Canadiens checklist for that year. That's pretty cool. I like that. I collect a lot of the team checklists. I don't like the checklist cards, but I do like the team ones where it focuses on the team. So I really do like that. Next, Ken Hodge. Not familiar with him, unfortunately. Jimmy Carson, same thing. I'm trying to let it focus here, but it's clearly not... Barry Pedersen, I like the Whaler cards. I'm going to start collecting all, all of the ones that I find. Steve Dueshny, or Duchesne, Dueshny sounds better. Adam Graves, Thomas Sanderstrom, there we go, finally got it focus. and Ray Shepard. Uh, so not too bad. I like the Montreal Canadiens card better, even though I've mentioned on this channel, I do not like the team. I like getting those cards, um, the uh, team checklist cards or the team cards in general. So the next pack is going to be the jerseys or serial number pack and the inserts or parallel pack. Now, some of these were top loaded mainly so they don't bend the rest of the cards in the pack like usual, but we're off to a great start. Dylan DeMello, 
Ice Premieres, Clear Cut. I love these cards. Out of 1999. So I'm I'm a fan of Dylan DeMello. It was sad to see him get traded away from the Ottawa Senators. I thought he was good, and I thought he was going to be doing good for the Sens for years to come. And I don't think his contract was too high, but this is a nice one to get. A numbered card for Dylan DeMello, I will absolutely take it. I'm a huge fan. I already have his uh, Young Guns. I picked that up recently as well. A portrait card. Upper Deck Portraits for Rick Nash. I love these cards, especially this year. The portraits look phenomenal, but I also have a small PC of Rick Nash. I did a full video where I picked up a whole uh, bunch of cards of Rick Nash on eBay. So I did that as a solo video, and now I seem to keep finding a lot of his cards. They just seem to, seem to follow me. A Keith Jones uh, Electric Ice card. So I'm not familiar with the player, but that's a cool insert. I might have to hold on to that. And the last card... A SP Rookie Authentics for Brady Kachuk. Now this is awesome. I've already mentioned I collect Ottawa Senators cards. I really wished this was a numbered card. If it was, even the back looks so clean and crisp. That looks awesome. Um, SP does a great job with all their cards. I would have loved if this was a Future Watch card, a numbered card, or something along those lines to give it a little bit more of a collecting appeal, but... Definitely going into my collection. It's the first Brady Kachuk card that I have. So I am extremely happy. So this pack was probably the best. But now the braided or auto pack, which I'm 99% sure it's a uh, graded card just because of how thick and how big it is. And it is. It is a graded card. So for my first graded card, graded at a 9. It's a Young Guns of a player that I don't have. A Matt O'Connor of the Ottawa Senators. Now, it's probably not the most valuable card. Not probably the most sought after. But for me, for an Ottawa Senators card, a goalie card, a Young Guns card, and to get my first graded card as a 9, it has everything going for me. I love the Ottawa Senators. I love getting them. I love getting goalie cards. I've been collecting a lot more of the Young Guns cards, especially for this year, and I know I don't have his card yet. So this is awesome to get as my first graded card. I'm definitely going to put it on display. Like I said, I doubt this is going to be of much value, but for me personally, for it being an Ottawa Senators player, a Young Guns card, and a goalie card, that it is graded so high, a 9, to me, I will take that as my first graded card. I know it's not of value, but for me personally... It is priceless, so I'm definitely going to be putting this on display. It's not even a player that I don't even believe the Sens have anymore, but uh, it's definitely worth everything. So this seller, in my opinion, was the best or one of the best ones that I've received cards from. There is a few sellers now that I have gotten great cards from and some that I've already reordered from. So this seller here, I definitely plan on reordering from him in the future. He sells different variant ones. I might go with a more expensive one next time. This one was a $15 free shipping one. Or sorry, I think shipping with him was $4. So uh, about $19 in total this cost. But I got some great cards out of it and I got my first graded card. Now, if it would be, it would be interesting to see what jersey card it would have been if I received jersey cards. And if it was an autographed card, if it was of much more value. But he also sells $25 packs, $45 packs, and I think $100 packs. Along with $5 and $10 packs. This was a $15 pack. So I might either stick with a $15 pack because I know I'll be guaranteed either a graded or an auto card. If I go lower, I'm not going to be guaranteed this. I'll just get a lot more of these packs. But the $25 pack, you get one of these or the auto card, and you get more of these cards. So next time with him, I might go with a $25 pack, but I've had some great luck with sellers, so I'm a huge fan. I love doing these videos, and I get some really great cards for my collection. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.